In response to one of my videos, someone asked me if I knew anything about psychedelics and what I thought about them. And I wanted to talk a little bit about a few of them uh, that I do actually think are beneficial. However, I'm not advocating that you go out and do any type of illegal drugs because we can get there through meditation. And if you need help with that, then you can message me and I'll come up with a video for you. So there's no need to actually do the drugs. All of the drugs are like a key and we hold the lock. And when they go into our brains and they turn that lock, they unlock something behind it. So there is a way to find it without having to do any drugs. However, I'm going to mention a couple here. Uh, one is the psilocybin. Psilocybin comes from mushrooms or fungus. Hang on a second. Anyway, um, psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, Anyway, one of them being psilocybin. Psilocybin, if you research Paul Stamets, uh, is being used right now in microdoses as a medication for things like ADHD, uh, depression, uh, bipolar disorder, things like that. Mushrooms, they come from the earth, and if they react when we, or we react to them when we take them, then they must be designed for us to use. In fact, one theory is the stoned ape hypothesis, and that was that the uh, ancient man started eating mushrooms, and it opened up their consciousness, and they started to be able to learn to do new things. That's one kind of theory uh, that Paul Stamets came up with. So I do believe that if you were to take a psilocybin mushroom dose big enough to cause a trip, I'd, I personally believe that it could open you up to new experiences after you come out because it opens up your mind into a different area of consciousness. Now, like I said before, I'm not advocating drug use right now. Those are illegal. Um, however, in the Netherlands, they, uh, not the mushroom itself, but the, um, what is that called? The mycorrhizal bunch, the truffle. Yeah, the truffle, um, magic truffles are legal. So, um, you know, it's kind of coming as a medical thing. Um, DMT is something that our bodies naturally produce. It's called dimethyltryptamine, uh, and that's one of the most powerful kind of um, disassociative trips that you can go on. Uh, DMT can be produced naturally. I actually have a video about it if you haven't seen it. It's how to produce DMT in the brain. Um, there's also one about how to produce DMT in the lungs that I have, and have a bit of success with those. So, you know, there's a reason that the drugs are illegal. Uh, one of those is that some people have, in fact, been harmed on it, but I think the government cares a little bit less about the harm than they do about the rebellious nature that people seem to get after they take the drugs, because it opens you up to a new kind of um, awareness, let's say. So you don't really care about capitalism as much. You care more about sharing things with people and helping people out. Um, so, ow, sorry. It's getting a little hard to be down there. Um, something else that's being used recently is uh, ketamine is being used um, in medical situations to help people with PTSD and drug addictions. Um, a lot of these psychedelic substances, after you use them, you no longer want to use any other drugs. They change you. They can even end an addiction of heroin, uh, just kind of like that. So, um, so do I think psychedelics are good? I think that if you're in a place where you can use them uh, in a safe and legal manner, then sure, I'd say that you should take them in order to open up your consciousness a little bit. But right now, at the legal status of it all, I don't think that you should. Um, I think that you can get there through meditation, and I think that some of my courses can help. Okay. Um, Here, let me give a story of kind of like what a psychedelic substance can do to you. So one time in college, um, and this was through meditation, I was laying there on my back and all of a sudden I was in space floating around amongst the stars and I was a rocket ship. And for some reason I had known that my whole life I was a rocket ship, completely forgot my life here and I was floating around through space. I was extremely happy and peaceful. Now this rocket ship didn't necessarily look like a rocket ship. 
but I just knew that I was a rocket ship. Well then when I realized that I was a rocket ship and I had self-awareness, all of a sudden I started opening up from the center of my body like the pages of a book. And they fell out. And then all the pages started ripping out. And they went off in every direction into space. And it was only about four minutes. And when I came out of this um, experience, everything was different. I didn't know if I was real, I didn't know if everything around me was real, I didn't know if I was tripping, I didn't know if I was in my hallucination still. I had no idea. But something that I did know was that I wasn't quite as important as I had thought before going into that experience. Which is something that I think is very important. We need to realize that we, individually, are not the most important things in the world, and psychedelics can help you get there. But like I said, we can reach those levels with dedication in meditation. So let me know if you need any help. Thanks, guys.